Some of you may have been tracking in the local newspaper the progression of letters I've sent to Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger regarding CIM and the overcrowding issues that they are currently experiencing. I continue to be frustrated by the number of inmates at CIM and the fact that the correctional officers are often forced to work long shifts, compromising the safety of themselves, the inmates, and our city's population. Last Friday, I sent a follow-up letter to my initial correspondent, uh, correspondence dated back in August 10th, venting my frustration due to a lack of a response from the Capitol after 34 days. After the close of business last Friday, the city received a letter uh, via fax from James E. Tilton, Secretary, California Department of Corrections and Rehabilita uh, Rehabilitation, apologizing for the delay in getting back to me. Mr. Tilton's letter did not address the specific plan on how the prison population at CIM would be reduced, <clears throat> but stated his uh, objective is to reduce inmate overcrowding by returning all California institutions to a safe operational capacity. According to Mr. Tilton's letter, 54 correctional officers have reported to CIM since last April of this year, and another 58 are scheduled to report prior to January 2007. He also stated that there is $1,659,000 that was appropriated to fix up the prison in the last fiscal year, and uh, there's $1,725,000 uh, $1, allocated this fiscal year uh, to complete several projects and uh, some general repa repairs to the aging uh, institution. In my opinion, these steps toward a solution, these uh, are steps toward a solution, but they're not aggressive enough to correct the problem in a timely manner. I support the governor's initiative on relocating prisoners currently located within our state to other states uh, where overcrowding is not an issue. I will continue to call upon Governor Schwarzenegger and the members of the state legislature to address the overcrowding of this aging institution, reduce the prisoner population to accommodate the number of prisoners for which it was designed, and to properly staff the facility to ensure a safety not only for the correctional officers, but the inmates in our community as well. I will keep the uh, residents of Chino appraised of this situation uh, as it continues to develop. Uh, I know for a fact that uh, uh, I've got people inside CIM that are emailing me and writing me letters, uh, employees. Um, I know for a fact they've gone around to the prisoner population and asked each and every inmate whether they would uh, like to be transferred out of state. So I know uh, that's transpiring as we speak. Uh, you probably read last week uh, uh, that another correctional officer was attacked and brutally beaten by an inmate in the medium security yard. Uh, I'm curious to know if uh, the uh, correctional officer, uh, how many shifts he had worked uh, in a row prior to being assaulted by the uh, inmate. Um, it is uh, this issue, uh, when I talked to uh, the governor's office, uh, their pat answer was, well, Mayor, uh, it's like that up and down the state. And I said, that's not acceptable to me. Chino is different than the rest of the state. I asked the government official to name another city that had three correctional institutions uh, within their city limits with over 10,000 uh, inmates, and uh, he couldn't answer that question. So in my mind's eye, the Chino is unique in the whole state of California because of the three institutions that are housed within our city limits. So uh, I can be a kind of pain uh, in the rear for the uh, state, uh, so I will continue to be until uh, such time. Uh, I know they have already emptied the gymnasium where they had them uh, triple stacked, um, but uh, our city attorney, uh, Mr. Guterres, has uh, investigated on uh, what the council can do uh, to be litigious, and uh, his recommendation to the council that I thought palatable was um, um, file a CEQA uh, grievance uh, on this behalf of uh, uh, the prison. Uh, even the state has to do a CEQA uh, or environmental imp impact report uh, when they build a facility. And obviously uh, with CIM and even YTS and Frontera, uh, two to three times uh, what it was built for um, uh, exceeds the CEQA limits uh, when the place was built. Jimmy, would you like to add comments to that? Well, I would only say that CEQA is probably the most obvious legal recourse that the city has uh, with respect to any projects that the state wants to have at the location. We, have, however, need to be 
vigilant, excuse me, vigilant in monitoring what it is that they're doing and whether or not they're complying with CEQA. That, you know, that was the same tactic we used in 1990 regarding the airplanes flying over the city of Chino that led to the favorable agreement. Uh, but it's really going to require more work. We're also looking into other areas of protocol that the state has to follow in, in terms of making assignments of inmates. And the last area that uh, we suggested was uh, legislation. Uh, there's enough cities that have prisons that may have similar concerns, and we can round up uh, assemblymen and senators to sponsor or get onto some of that legislation. That may be helpful. It's just a suggestion. Thank you, Mr. Gutierrez. Um, I would request from the city manager that the uh, item be placed 